Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm presenting you a replay of the T69. It's an American tier 8 medium tank which came into the game with patch 8.2. Of course I immediately started grinding with the T21 but uh, you can get into tier 10 games with the T21 because it gets scout matchmaking. I did not really like the T21. I tried to scout with it, tried to do some passive scouting, but I was detected too often. I tried to be an active scout, but for this job it's simply not uh, quick enough, not uh, fast enough. And I like the T71 much more. And now this is the T69. Well, it's not a bad tank, but it will never be one of my favorite tanks. I expected it to be a bit more faster. 240 damage with this gun is not so bad, but the penetration with 173mm is a bit underwhelming. Reload time of the top gun with a 4 drum autoloader is about uh, 25 seconds with a 100% crew. So back to the battle. There is no artillery in this battle and both teams almost only consist of heavy tanks. I'm waiting behind this bush for my team to catch up and uh, maybe scouting some of the enemy team. Their Amex 3090 is already on the hill. He's getting a bit of a beating and I decide to hunt him down. I am out of sight of this uh, Carnarvon, but maybe get spotted by the Tiger. So I'm going for him right now. I put four good hits into him and somebody else took him out. Now I can continue my way up onto the hill without getting shot in the ass by the tiger. And here we go. Here are five enemy heavy tanks and I have a few surprises for them in my drum. Take out the AMX M4 first, then the IS-3. Got a non-penetrating hit and someone else kills him. And now I have two left. Tiger is an easier target. And going for the reload. It's not easy maneuvering here on the edge of the hill. I'm trying not to slide down the hill. That would end nasty between all the heavy tanks. Tiger is reversing, trying to hit me. But he's showing me his side. Going for the most dangerous target now, the E-75. Trying to get my gun down, it's simply not, not quite working. Gun depression is simply not enough. Be careful, be careful. Uh oh. I'm sliding down. But I stopped with my gun directly pointing at his back end. He noticed someone shooting his back and is turning his turret. But luckily someone kills him before he can put a shot on me. Only IS-3 hits me for 293 damage. I dodged IS-3's shot. I'm trying to flank him. He's simply shooting too late and I can finish him off. Now heading for the rest of their heavies on this plateau. Poor Tiger 2, 
I put him out of his misery. Surrounded by four enemy tanks. There's the Carnarvon. Uh, damaged my ammo rack. And I wondered how he managed to penetrate my turret in this position. I got the impression that with the T-69 the ammo rack is damaged quite often. This is similar to the British uh, mediums and heavies. Their ammo rack will be damaged in almost every battle. He fired a mist. I destroyed him. Now I had the perfect possibility to flank the rest of the enemy team here on this corner. We wanted to take out the T-34 first, but unfortunately the Tiger reversed and I only tracked the Tiger. Did not kill the T-34, but at least distracted them both, so my team could easily take them out. Now the only tank left was a Löwe, and it turned out that he was just trying to hide near their base. can put a shot in me, but that's the last thing he could do in this battle. So here right now I managed to detrack him and put two more shots into his back. And that's it! So far my best result with the T-69, rewarded with Ace Tanker, Top Gun and Sniper. I hope you had some fun and see you soon.